my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Floyd Mayweather has now made his relationship with Leonard Elliott public after Leonard verbally attacked him during a live session. This is my thing, and it has a lot of depth. But have you noticed some of the rumors circulating that Leonard may be quitting Mayweather promotions? Mayweather has revealed all the details and even threatened Leonard Ellerby with legal action. Don't worry about that. I'm just doing what I do. After Leonard Ellerby trash-talked Floyd Mayweather live, Mayweather finally had the opportunity to terminate the former boxer and issue warnings to the latter. With an interview, Leonard Ellerby was asked to divulge some of the best-kept secrets surrounding his departure from Floyd Mayweather promotions. Is he still somehow involved with Mayweather promotions, or is everything still the same? PBC All Hand did respond, but his statement was a bombshell that would fuel even more hatred and hostility toward the former world champion, who appeared to be fed up with all the fabrications and lies that had been spread about him. Floyd Mayweather eventually threatened the former CEO of Floyd Mayweather Promotions and issued threats. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Floyd Mayweather was especially irritated by the perception that he was talking about him and how much of an issue that was. Blair the Flair Cobbs had cruelly teased the boxing legend, and for some reason, everyone had an issue with Floyd. I'm not sure why, but I've never had a problem with them. Blair Cobbs, who just had one of his greatest victories of the year against a Rusty when asked about the split between Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Elby during an interview. Adrian Broner taunted Floyd Mayweather in the process, saying, Everyone's got a problem with Floyd for some reason I don't know why you know I've never had a problem with him, but everybody that's associated with him seems to have always had a problem with him. That's not a good look for Floyd, and honestly it's not a good look for Leonard Elby, but I just wish nothing but the best for both of them as they continue their adventure. In boxing, I've always had a problem with them, Mom. That's not a good look for Floyd, and honestly it's not a good look for Leonard Elby. But um, Floyd Mayweather once remarked, I never did anything to harm anyone. All I did was make everyone excellent in Mayweather's promotions. When I saw that some people had grown disinterested in our work and were only interested in the fighter's money, I decided it was time to call it quits. When it comes to you, Vaughn is ungrateful. However, my thing is different from what many had assumed and from what Floyd Mayweather had previously stated on the breakup. Although Joseph Benowitz Jr. had anticipated that a problem would have led to their divorce, Leonard Earlby did not actually depart Mayweather promotions on his own. I wish them both the best because they already have an abundance of bread and underscore underscore. He continued speaking from a position of familiarity with situations of this kind, saying, Can you picture Mayweather promotions without Leonard? Then, I see the best teams split up all the time. To me, it's nothing you know, it's nothing new. I mean, I've seen the best of the best split up they pa, however. I frequently witness the greatest teams in the world disband. So to me, this is nothing new. Underscore underscore occurs frequently. Richard Shear took his place, just so you know, because like I said, I've seen the best of the best you know split up. He was then notified of Floyd Mayweather's announcement on social media that the match between Jervin Davis and Frank Martin had been canceled. They went their own way, so only they know why they did that. They were working out and they PL boo hands and he was questioned about whether Mayweather's claims were accurate. I know there were too many people who bought tickets, I don't think so, but hey, you never know anything can happen now. They probably boo hands with no, that's that's their business, and oh, both have got you last thing with this, and I don't think it's true. Egg Floyd was maybe trolling Floyd Mayweather, then further revealed more details about the split, claiming he did what was best for Floyd Mayweather promotions. He chose to do business, and I chose business, too. That's the point. Fighters couldn't suffer for that. The promotional team couldn't suffer for that. Floyd Mayweather then touched on a more sensitive issue when he brought up Kermel Moten, 
claiming Colonel Moton was to fight on the undercard of Ben Davis versus Frank Martin. Well, I think my thing is I've always been there for him from day one, however. Leonard Ellerby couldn't use his influence to help the Mayweather promotion. Sign rather he and Jevin Davis. Sideline the youngster Mayweather then said a CEO who doesn't represent is no CEO. He couldn't help Morton. I just need him to stop or he faces a lawsuit. The lightweight competition on June 15 at the MGM Grand. Arena, which was co-headed by David Benevitz and Alexander Guzik. The second PBC Prime feature of the year, Amazon Clash, enabled him to win the world championship and advance his career. Intriguingly, on March 30th, Moden engaged in his third professional fight. This was the first event under the recently formed alliance between Al Heyman's promotions and the premium subscription giant. All of this occurred after Moden shared a college of images with his fans and followers that showed him working out with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Yeah, that's a big deal, and I'm honored to be involved. I would like participating in all of the major PBC cards. Mel Moden appeared to be overjoyed with the support and guidance he has been receiving from one of the greatest boxers ever when another shot showed the undefeated former world champion helping Moten put on his gloves. He wrote, best team in boxing. But shortly after, he received a response from Jim and Davis, who is now the World Boxing Association lightweight champion, saying, you idiot won't be on the June 15th card. Music normally, a lot of people would wonder why he would have said that. However, it seems that Kermel Moten revealed some details about his upcoming battle. Regretfully, I will be fighting this weekend on April 4. I appreciate all of your support, with the exception of when I promised to put on a show back in June. Evidently, Moten was making hints about appearing in the June 15th to Davis now that Abdel Wyatt undercard for Frank Martin sadly. The reasons why this didn't happen are still unknown. But the lightweight champion responded sharply to a user who suggested that Devin Davis was the reason behind the exit. So why should this worry tank so much? The general consensus seems to be that it happened because of Moden's close relationship to mentor and guy Floyd Mayweather Jr., the lightweight champion, and the money are currently involved in a highly publicized online feud. Ben Davis responded to Ken Dalmata today. Michael Music, Benson wrote, In response to a tweet that featured the full card of David Benevitz and Von Davis, someone wrote, Rotank really kicked out Kermel Moten of the card. Moten stated he had another show in the works and would share the details. The screen grab depicts a series of conversations. The message from Tank appears to have been removed, but the post from the user who inquired as to whether Devin Davis had booted out of Kermel Moten had received a few responses. Perhaps these would be helpful to those searching for hints. Later, he asked everyone to watch this space for more, but soon after, a response from Jevin Davis appeared. Next time, be a man of your own little clown dumbhead guy. Don't forget the reason why you throwing up that ape stuff, said the Baltimorean. Colonel man doesn't flow with Mayweather yellow, a user commented. Carol added that the focus of the tank should be on Frank rather than on the 17-year-old himself.